Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie Makeup, and uh, if you're wondering why my look is so dramatic, you could thank Trinity the Tuck Taylor for this look because she did this as her final best drag look on RuPaul's Drag Race and I saw a picture of it the other day and I didn't even notice it when I... She inspired me to do this look because this was the makeup for her final look and I just thought it was so pretty, like the extreme blush, the extreme highlight, and it was just so pretty, I had to remake it. If you wanna know how to create this look, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell notification. All my social medias will be down there and everything that I used on my face, including my face makeup, which you don't see in this because I just go straight to the eyes, will be all listed down in the description box below. And uh, keep watching. Can we talk about that highlight? Thank you, Jeffree Star. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so my lids have been primed and set already, so I'm ready for shadow. Now, looking at this photo of Trinity, it looks just like blue and dark on the top and then this like purple pink underneath. So I'm gonna go in with all blues on the top and then the pink purple underneath. I'm gonna go into the Jean Michael Bess palette. Get my NYX blending brush and I'm gonna dip into Boom, which is that color right here. Lord, pray for me. And put this up in here. Now it's smoky eyes. The trick is to blend and blend and blend and blend. Blend and blend and blend and blend. So this completely clean. Ooh, Morphe brush. There's no product on here. I'm just gonna go to the edges and really make sure this is blended. I don't know why I started to film this video at um, midnight. I'm gonna have to be up for work at five o'clock in the morning. And I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques brush and dip into, just literally did on, on United. Pretty sure that's what this is called, this blue. And just go in the crease with this. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to dip in to the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette and this color right here called Bandersnatch. Ooh, the color right there called Bandersnatch. We're gonna use that to darken everything up. Ooh, okay, so I'm just gonna take, literally look how ooh, pigmented that is. I'm gonna darken up the corners of this. Ooh, I know, it'd be pretty. Like, I don't even know what I'm fucking doing right now. I'm gonna go into the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and get, with the same brush from before, because I don't want to turn a new one, I'm gonna go in and get Vanity, which is a dark, dark, dark purple, and just concentrate that out here. Now to move on to the lid, we're gonna dip into this Morphe Pressed Pigment and make a statement. Like, oh, look at that, like, look how pretty that is. Now, these pressed pigments, I've used them before, so I'm just gonna put down a little safety net of loose powder. And put down that little safety net. Just look any fallout and I'm just gonna go right in with my finger and put that on the lid. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. That is so pretty. So pretty. Now to sweep away that safety net. Make sure my highlight is still there. 
Now we are gonna move on to the bottom. Ooh, now this is gonna be the fun part. So, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 25B palette and get this flat Morphe brush because I want to get super tight to my under eye. And I'm gonna go right up close. Super duper close. Now, to blend that out, I'm going to go in again to the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and get this little modified brush. Again, this is one that my dog chewed, but it's really nice. It's a nice point to it. We're going to dip into drip, dip into star power very, very lightly. Like, look at that pigment. We're going to use that to blend out the bottom. That is, I feel really, really pretty. Now, Trinity did white in her waterline, so I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Exit. Ooh, is that broken? I hope it's not broken. I feel that just makes the back pop nice. Ooh, I like that. And now, I got this little mini Man Eater Mascara by Tarte. Let's go. They are the Ilore Vegas Nay Absolute Allure Lashes. And they look like this. I'll use those. I'm just gonna zoom you guys out and we can do the lip. And then we're done. Okay, so all we have left to do is the lips. Now, the white trendy has them like very glossy very shiny so I'm gonna go with a metallic lipstick and this is three-way by Colourpop we're gonna see how that looks And the lips are done. Now you can see why I went with the extreme blush and the extreme contour. Because it helps bring this look together. So this is the final look. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. And if you would like to see me recreate any other makeup looks, or if you have any ideas for me, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload, and give me a little bit of a thumbs up because I did such a great job, I feel. I mean, just like look at that highlight. It's Jeffree Star Ice Cold. I think this look really came out well. Hope I did Trinity Taylor justice, the tuck, and uh, thank you.